Domination. Hello everyone, Free Darkness here bringing you some pretty cool Black Ops 2 gameplay. Now this one is special because it is one of the few ground war gameplays I have played. It is also special because I wrecked the other team with small robotic vehicles known as ARG. Oh, I mean AGRs. I got quite a few AGRs this match actually. So many in fact that I had about two roaming the map for the better half of the game. It is unfortunate that you cannot flood the map with AGRs, however. You earn them, don't you? But, why can't I send them in in a clusterfuck? On an unrelated note, you know what's BS? The fact that some developer at Treyarch thought, Hey, let's make robots, sentries, and other good killstreaks that are pretty difficult to earn. And make them susceptible to freaking secondary grenades that can penetrate through walls, no less. An entire fleet of RCXDs will get demolished by a single EMP. Come on. But hey, I think it's unfair that killstreaks can be destroyed so easily. Oh, and since I'm on the topic of weak killstreaks, I kind of miss Sam turrets. They were pretty cool. Really, really helped your team out for sure. Although, if I recall, it was really ever used. I, it wasn't. Was it on Wii? Was it on Wii? I don't believe it was, was it? Uh, we we get really left out. I think that's what the Wii stands for in, in Nintendo in the Nintendo Wii. Is we not we would like to play, but we we get left out. Anyway, moving on to the actual thing I want to share with you all. This story of a certain fellow who had just began his journey into the world of Call of Duty Online. This story is about me. So I can't recall every finite detail, but I'll try my best. Okay. So the game is World at War, one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time. It's my first online Wii experience with the Call of Duty franchise, no less. This is the first time I ever played an online game on Wii, and it was my first time playing uh, Call of Duty online, I believe. Uh, can't exactly recall, I think I played Call of Duty 3 online once on Xbox, I'm not sure. Uh, anyways. Basically, World of War was one of my favorite games. It was fun, but actually it was more than that. I believe I had a, a bit of an addiction to the game when, when I used to play quite often. Uh, no matter, I was ranking up one game. That map was Dome, where I was playing, where the story is taking place. That one close quarters map that where everyone has always killed themselves. Uh, that one close quarters map where everyone always kills themselves with their air support. I know I did. I always killed myself with my artillery. I had to be very careful with call, uh, before calling it in. In fact, most of the time I wouldn't even call it in because I would kill myself. Even wherever I was. I would have to place it on the other side of the map. And usually, if, even if I do that, it's not going to get any kills because it's on the other side of the map where the enemy is. Well, I'm usually where the enemies are at. Anyways, uh, you remember artillery? That air raid siren? That was awesome. The constant shaking. Good times. Oh, by the way, I once got chomped on by one of my own dogs. Never get between a dog and a bone, I guess. It was really funny. It wasn't Dome. Uh, I, I got between an enemy and a dog mid-leap and killed me. It killed its master. It's terrible. I earned that kill streak and it went back and bit me on the butt. Quite literally. Well, more over the throat, but you get the gist of it. But yeah, I was playing in Dome, ranking up, when suddenly I ran into a grenade that seemingly was prepared beforehand. I killed the enemy and ran over his corpse to collect ammunition, as most people used to do in those days before Scavenger. Uh, excuse me. I killed the enemy, ran over his corpse, and... I wasn't basically I got killed. I ran over his corpse to collect ammunition and I died. Um ah, sorry. At the at the time, of course I was still ranking up and had no clue that there was a perk that granted you the ability to empty your bowels of any spare fragmentation grenades you may have consumed previously. I was aghast when I kept getting killed by the same corpse I kept killing. Well, it's not really a corpse. It was afterwards because I kept killing him. Was he a wizard, I thought? No. He must be just playing a playstyle where you cook a grenade and let yourself be killed so you may drop a grenade to kill your opponent. I kind of thought he was like a siren. A modern siren. 
leads you towards him because he makes himself such an easy target and then BAM! Although I guess that was just probably a noob as we mostly most likely were all once. As silly as a theory uh, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. As silly as a theory sounds to me now, I actually believed that when I was starting off. In fact, I began attempting this sort of playstyle, killing myself multiple times trying to get kamikaze kills. Silly me. I'm sure if I didn't have the Misery Loves Company challenge beforehand, I would surely have obtained it soon. However, that challenge was probably a higher rank. Uh, you know what? I miss a flamethrower now. That thing was awesome. I would just listen to music and go rampaging in Team Deathmatch. Because Team Deathmatch was the only other mode besides... Uh, what was the other mode? Free for all? And, and hardcore? That game kept it raw. It was fun though. Two modes. Well, except for survival. That got added. See, they added DLC. But they never really added any other mode. Even though they already had all the modes there. Very interesting. Don't know what happened there. But, anyways. I attempted to kill myself by trying to quickly bring out my grenade when I thought I was going to die. Although, not actually showing follow through in most of my attempts to kill opponents because of preparing myself for my kamikaze attack, I ended up losing most gun battles. And of course the enemy stayed away from the clearly visible grenade that I would most of the time fail to even deploy before I got killed. These people were smarter than me. They wouldn't just walk right into the grenade. They don't need that ammo. They don't spray like I do it seems. So basically, I was a noob. I didn't know what was what, and at the cost of fictitious stats in a game that I played for pure fun, it was quite a surprise when I discovered it was a crook. I had fun, sure I was wrong, I was also ignorant, but it was fun. I added a new way to play to my repertoire, and it allowed me to believe that there was more to the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Basically that's my story, my story of how I met Martyrdom and how Martyrdom met me and touched my soul with its fragmentation shards inside my heart. It's piercing through my. Uh, it's terrible. Don't deploy grenades after you die. That's just terrible. It's good thing that Black Ops finally broke from the chain, right? Every other game has had it in form of death streaks or some other BS. Anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Fantastic gameplay. Of course, I only try to bring you fantastic gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. As well as look at this guy. Just Don't you love how feet stick through stick out through the walls when campers are camping? How silly of them. You'd think they'd notice that. Then again, you'd think that the walls would be solid enough for your feet not to just go through, right? Anyways, Treyarch, I'm looking at you. Make some solid walls next time. And Infinity War D2 with Modern Warfare 4 Ghosts. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. And as always, thank you for watching.